Hi, in this video, I will show you how to filter a SharePoint date time column. This is my SharePoint list call orders, list settings. The column is called created. The type is date and time. To know the schema name, click on the relevant column. At the end of the URL, it will show field equals created. We need to use the we need to use the schema name for filtering the records in Power Automate. Okay. So here I'm using a, a manual trigger. Next I am after SharePoint connector. The action I am after is get items. Okay, so I set my address, set the list name. Next, I need to set the filter query. So the scheme name is called created. So I'm after less than today's date. So I put two single quotations, place the cursor inside the two single quotation, click on the expression. Then I need to use two expressions here. So one is for my date time to find today's date. That is called UTC now. The next is a format yyy dash mm dash dd. So remember, this is a case sensitive format. You need to use a spec you need to use this specific format uh, for formatting the date and time. Next, I'm going to use a compose. Okay, here you can see Power Automate placed another apply to each automatically. The reason for this is get items can return more than one items. So let's run this flow. So here I am after uh, less than today's date. So I have two records, which is less than today's date. And today is 21st of September. So flow ran successfully. I can see there are two records retrieved, one of two. The first one is already 100, one of two. The next one, two of two, that is already 101. Let's go back to Power Automate again. So the filter query I used is the schema name, less than, only that's the syntax for audit API. Then two single quotes, then format date time in brackets, UTC, now that's another expression which returns today's date, comma, the format is yyy-mm-dd. So this is the way we can filter the date and time columns of a SharePoint list using Power Automate. Thank you for watching.